It's time, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, let's go ahead and get this Undernight, the UniST th character theme tier list on the way. Now here, okay, let's let let's let's just get one thing straight. As much as I love triggering people, the UniST character themes are actually really they're they're great. I like them a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. This tier list might be a little bit more serious than the Blaze Blue Central Fiction one. Because, you know, I love playing with the Blaze Blue kids. So anyways, they, uh, I want to do this UniST one. And I am really, really excited to be doing this one. We're going to be going through all of them. Um, I have my favorites. The Londrakia theme? No, I'm not going to going to do the Lone Drakia theme because it's not out yet. First and foremost, what do we start with first, chat room? Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and start off from the very top. The main character. Hide. Um, Scraper Sky High is what it's called. Let's take a look at this one first. I can't. Uh, that, that's that's Hyde Keto's uh, theme. Scraper Sky High. I can't deny that, dude. That freaking theme is so godlike. Dude, that theme is so godlike. It's so good, dude. Everything about it just makes you want to like jump out and just start like dancing. It's so sick. I freaking love Scraper Sky High. It's one of my favorites, personally. So yeah, I put it in god, god tier. It's so good. It's so good. All right, so let's take a look at the next theme, which is going to be Lynn's theme, or Linne, uh, for the for the people that actually care. But I'm gonna go ahead and put in. It's called Nightwalker. This is Lynn's theme. Heck yeah! Dude, chill, chill. Jeez. All right, so that was Lin's theme. I guess Chie absolutely loves this theme, by the way. Um, this one, I have, I'm feeling very indifferent about. I like it. I like the piano, but I'm not in love with it. I think it's okay. I definitely think Lynn's theme is all right uh, in regards to the, that. It's definitely, the thing that saves the theme is definitely the piano. The piano is definitely good, but uh, it's okay. All right, next up, let's do freaking, uh, I don't know. Let's do freaking uh, Seth. How about that? It's called Monochrome Memory. Monochrome memory. My bad. All right, so that was Monochrome Memory. That was Seth's theme. And uh, this one's also, like, it's whatever. Like, I don't hate it. I don't want to put it in trash tier, but I think it's okay. It sounds pretty generic to me. It sounds generic. It sounds pretty meh, to be honest with you. Um, I always have found it very meh. I look through, I know all the UniST themes and I listen to them all. And Seth is definitely one of those that I'm like, eh, I've, it's whatever. It's whatever. Um, all right, next up. Let's go ahead and do uh, Aurier. 
Orie called Purity and Strictly. Harada san. All right, so that was Aurea's theme, uh, Purity and Strictly. And to be honest, like, at first, I liked it a lot. But the more I listened to it, the more I'm like, this is also kind of like, okay, it's all right. Uh, it's not bad by any chance. It's not trash at all. But it's okay. It's it's something that I would expect out of a fighting game theme. And I've always found there's some fighting game themes g growing up with Street Fighter most or like growing my fighting game skills with Street Fighter mostly, that's what it mostly sounded like. It's just like what it's good background music, I should say. It's it's all right. It's it's whatever. Um okay, so that was Aureus. Next up, what do we got? Uh let's do uh <laughs> all right. Let's do Oh my gosh, which one should we do? Let's do Batista. How about that? We'll do Batista. All right, let's do that. It's called Snow Sisters, Batista's theme. Here we go. All right, this is the only one that is a for sure fire uh, trash. I really don't like this theme. I don't like this theme at all. I think it's trash. It's pretty trash. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. This is one of the few themes that I am not a fan of at all. Don't like it. That's Batista's theme. For those of you who like it, I feel bad for you. Uh, let's see. What else do we have? Let's see. Who else are we going to do? Let's do uh let's do a very popular one, huh? Let's do Merkava. Unseen entities. So that was Merkava. That was Merkava's theme. Unseen Entity. And I'm actually a pretty big fan of Merkava's theme. I, I think it's pretty good. The only thing that's holding it back from being caught here is I'm not the biggest fan of dubstep, but if I were to listen to some, I would probably listen to Merkava's theme. I think it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I would especially like the freaking, the beginning. Dun -it, dun -it. That's pretty freaking good. Merkava's is pretty good. It's pretty good. Um... But yeah, that's Merkava's. There's that. Next up, let's do Nanase. Oh boy. Nanase theme. Okay. You guys ready for this?
that's Nanase's theme. And uh, it's a, it's a, it's one of those themes that is uh, better when you add a little flair. So that's on that's an NSA's theme. Uh better with a trumpet. It's pretty good. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. I love it. I think it's the best song in the game. If I'm to be completely honest. Next up, what do we got? Uh let's see. Let's do Yuzu's. Let's do Yuzuriha's theme. Moving like a blossom lily. That is 100%. I'm so biased towards this character. This is an instant god tier, okay? I don't care what anybody says, but it's so freaking good. I love it, dude. It's such a bright, cheery song that I can't help but to not put it at god tier. It's such a good... I, I listen to this every time I go into training room because I play Yuzu, and I still don't get tired of it. Just saying. It's so good. Yuzuriha is god tier for sure. Hella bias. But not just bias. I actually really like the song. Like, no joke. Uh, let's see. Let's do the next one. Let's do Waldstein. Waldstein. So that was uh, Waldstein's uh, theme. And to be honest, I find this theme so freaking boring. It's so boring. It's so trash. I I don't like it. It's so boring. I want to fall. I could fall asleep to that. I could f straight up. You put that song on. I'd fall asleep immediately. I don't think it's very good. So anyways, I love Waldstein. I hate his theme. I don't like his theme at all. Anyways, uh, next up. What do we got next? Uh, let's do Hilda. Hilda. Anyways, it's called Overwhelmed Despair. That was Hilda's theme. It's called Overwhelmed Despair. And here's the thing with Hilda's theme. I think it's pretty good, man. I think it's pretty good. Not to mention because of I know who she is and I know that she is um, 
what's her what what's the name amnesia amnesia's boss she's the boss of the thing but if you think of her as like a final boss type character i think it's really really cool just like picture like a Oh, Joe Sama laugh, and then just like all of a sudden, just like this freaking theme just starts playing all of a sudden. I like that, and I think it's really, really good. I think it's pretty good. Um, I like the guitar riff. I like the solo, and there's something about having a like a a viola in the in the background that I like a lot. I think it's pretty good. Hilda's is pretty good. Let's see. All right, next up, what do we got? We're gonna do Biakuya. Biakuya. Beat Eat Nest. I hate this character, by the way. All right, so that was Biakuya's theme, Beat, Eat, Nest, and I freaking hate this character. But I can't deny that this theme is probably the best theme in this entire game. Like, I'm not going to front. This is probably, like, the best theme in this entire game. It's so freaking good. It's so upbeat. You just feel like, I feel like I sh I, I want to learn the piano and just go freaking nuts with the piano. Bam, 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 bam. Just going nuts. So I can't front. I, I have to agree that this is probably the best theme in this entire game. It's really good. I'm not going to lie. The ludicrous version, way better. Like, if there was another picture of Biakuya, I would probably put him up. If there was a picture of Ludacris here, I'd probably put Ludacris right above the Nanase one. Like, dead ass. All right. So, yeah, Biakuya, God tier. It's pretty freaking amazing. Next up, what do we got next? Let's do uh, let's do a versus theme, huh? Let's do Hyde and Seth's. The battle theme, the versus theme. Mutual situation, it's called. <laughs> That was Mutual Situation. That was Hyde and Seth's theme. Uh, the battle versus when they both go up against each other. That's the theme. And I think it's all right. It's all right. It's okay. I definitely don't think it's anything too special, in my personal opinion. And that's, uh, you know, that my opinion is fact around here. So it's got to be true. So it's all right. It's okay. Okay. Whatever. All right, next up, what else do we have? Let's do chaos. How about that? Chaos. Oh, shoot. This is made by Dawn of War Chaos theme. Hold on. Wrong one. Sorry. Uh, there we go. Erudite eyes. That's what I'm talking. There we go. Sorry. False alarm. Here we go.
So that was chaos. It's a rudite eyes. To be honest, it's okay. It's all right. I think it sounds really, really mellow. And to be honest with you, anything that sounds too mellow immediately turns me off from a game like Undernight. Like, imagine listening to this theme and then all of a sudden hearing, Fasto, Segundo, Tato! It just doesn't fit to me. I really think that if it's like mellow, I don't necessarily like it too much. But it's all right. Yeah, it's good, like, main menu music. There you go. That's good. It's pretty good. It's okay. It's okay. Anyways. Next. Let's do Gordo. Rushing Heart. What do we got? All right, and that was Gord's theme called Rushing Heart. And I actually really like this theme. I think it's pretty good. I think it's pretty good. I like the guitar riffs. It's a sense of rush to it that uh, makes you want to press a button, which is I like a lot. Anything that initiates the, 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 the neutral is always welcomed in any way, shape, or form. So I think it's pretty good. I think uh, for sure Gordo's is a pretty good one. Uh, okay, so that was Gord's. Let's do one uh, from UniST, huh? How about let's do Enkidu? Uh, it's called Extreme Stream. <laughs> So that was Enkidu's theme, Extreme Stream. And I'm not going to lie, I think it's kind of trash. <laughs> I really don't think this is a good theme. I'm not going to lie. The intro literally sounds like I'm in like round one arcade in one of those big old like machines where you get to spin the wheel. Like, 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 look at this. Like, like, this fits so well. Spin that wheel. Like, come on, dude. But then the guitar is like, and the, the rift is like boring to me. It's not as boring as, no, it's not as boring as, uh, as uh, like Wald's or anything like that, but it's still kind of boring. Like, it's not, I don't like it. I don't like it. I, don't, I think it's trash. All right. So that's that. Enkidu. No, no, no bueno, amigo. No bueno. All right, so let's take a look. Let's go ahead and do. Oh, let's do. Let's do phone on. How about that? It sounds of the night wind, by the way. So that was Phonon's theme, Sound of the Night Wind. And this song is so sick. <laughs> this song is so sick. 
<laughs> this song legit reminds me of you remember that one scene in Sonic Mania or that one stage where you're in the casinos? That's what it reminds me of, dude. And it's so sick. The entire soundtrack for Sonic Mania is so freaking godlike. And this this song reminds me of that casino stage. And it's so freaking dope. It's so freaking sick. I like Phone on Steam a lot. Uh, me like. Me like. Phone on Steam is pretty freaking godlike. I can't put it at god tier because, dude, it reminds me so much of that. Anyways. What do we got next? Um... Let's do Mika. Mika chan, forceful step. Studiopolis zone, that's what it is. All right, Mika, I'm going to put it in God tier. That's a sick song, dude. Mika's song is freaking dope. I like it a lot. Makes me want to freaking jive, man. Makes me want to jive, man. It just makes me want to get up and just start jiving everywhere, dude. It's so sick. Dude, I love the, the piano. It's so upbeat. It just makes me want to, you know, XD in real life. IRL. It's It's great. I think this is a great theme. Godlike. Godlike. All right. What else we got? Let's do uh, Gord versus Chaos. How about that? Cross Thought. All right, so that is Cross Thought. And when I first heard this song, it grabbed me quite a bit because of the thematic intro. But then after that intro, it kind of just became bland <laughs> after that. It just kind of morphed into genericism, if that makes sense. So I've always liked the intro to this song, but I'm, I just think it's okay. It start. I could have easily put this a trash, but I can't skip that thematic. Like, dun -dun 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 -dun. I like it. I like that part at least. So yeah, uh, it's okay. It's all right. All right. Next up, what do we got? Uh, let's do Akasuki. Akasuki from Undernight. It's called Open War Again. So that was Akatsuki's theme. It's an open war again. And I freaking love this theme, dude. It's like Iron Horse or like the main uh, main character select. Or I'm sorry, the, the main theme for Akatsuki Blitzkampf, but with a freaking sweet modern twist. And I freaking love it. The bass is sick. The guitar riffs are pretty dope. I like this song a lot. Just because I'm a big fan of Akatsuki Blitzkampf. And when I first heard that main theme for Akatsuki Blitzkampf, I'm like, this theme is sick. Yeah, it's pretty dope. 
I like uh, Akatsuki's theme. It's pretty freaking awesome. All right. Next up, what do we got? Uh, let's do uh, Wagner. Okay, here we go. Flame and Destiny. So that was Wagner's theme, Flame and Destiny. And if you guys know me, you guys know that I like me some Metroidvania games. And this is exactly what it reminds me of. It reminds me of me playing freaking Symphony of the Night. And I like it a lot. I'm also a big sucker for violins and violas and wind instruments such as that. So I really, 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 really like this song. It's pretty freaking, uh, it's pretty freaking good. Um... It reminds me a lot of me playing Symphony of the Night. So, and I'm a sucker for that game's uh, OST. You guys, if you guys know, if you guys have seen my videos, you guys know that I use the Castlevania Symphony of the Night soundtrack a lot for my videos. So, this is pretty awesome. I like that one a lot. Uh, next up, Elton. Um, Elton from UniST. It's called Blood Drain again. I'm pretty sure this is, uh, yeah. That was a melty blood theme, pretty much. All right, and that was Eltonum's theme. That was uh, Blood Drain again. And if you guys know that I like Akatsuki Blitzkampf and its theme, then you guys know that I like the Melty Blood theme as well. And it's just good. It's just a great theme. I love it so much. I'd put any of these themes up here in my iPod playlist any day of the week. Anybody up here, I'd put it any day of the week. I'd, I'd put it up, up above all the time. So anyways... Elton's theme is pretty freaking awesome. I like Elton's theme a lot. Um, but yeah, it's godlike. It's God tier for sure. 100%. So last but not least, we got Carmine. Bad surface. <laughs> So that was Bad Surface. That's Carmine's theme. Uh, I want that one to play a little longer because I want to let you guys know that this is my favorite theme in this entire game. This is such a godlike song. This is my favorite theme in the entire game. Do you guys want to know why? It's because of this. It's so 
all sick. <laughs> oh, it's so sick. It's my favorite thing ever, dude. I will I will jam out to this song any day of the week. It's so sick. Every time I listen to this song or anytime this song comes up on BB Tag, dude, it's like I get a power up. <laughs> It's like, oh man, something's about to go down. This beat just dropped at, at least 10 hundred, 10 hundred don't even work, like a thousand decibels, man. <laughs> when you realize, <laughs> oh man, dude, I legit love this theme. <laughs> it's so good. I have to get through the first part, which is all right in the beginning, but just to get to that drop, God, it's so sick. Like all this is boring. It's not boring, but it's all right. It's okay. But like when you like start off slow, then it starts to grow. And then you get a show. Yeah, that's uh that's pretty much everything there. Um 100%. These are god tiered themes. 100%. These are pretty good. Not gonna lie, these are all right. These are okay. These are meh, in my opinion. Um, I should stop saying in my opinion. In my factual research, this is okay, and th these are trash. Th 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 these are trash. Like, I would throw them away. Ah, uh, these these are trash. All trash. Anyways, uh, this is Phonons is definitely super godlike. This is the best theme in the entire game. There's a difference between my favorite and the best theme. This one, best theme in the entire game. Trumpet, not I say? Oh, yeah. My favorite, Carmine, 100%. Probably a close second for a favorite is definitely Biakuya. Then I, okay, let, let me do this. Carmine, number one for me. Biakuya, second. Hyde is third. Uh, we got Yuzu as a fourth. Eltnum as fifth, and then Mika as uh, a seventh, and then Akatsuki sixth for sure. Oh, so yeah. Anyways, so yeah, that's the UniST character themes tier list. Pretty freaking great.